Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In this video we're talking about unit conversions. How to convert a particular measurement or a particular quantity from one type of unit to another. There are some very important reasons why and I've got the, the reasons why kind of down here in the bottom right corner. Uh, safety. Okay. Uh, this really is paramount. Unfortunately, there, there, there are examples where people have actually uh, come, come to harm because units were not uh, addressed in a correct manner. Uh, some people working on a project ha were, were dealing with units uh, of a particular style. Other people working on a different part of the same project were dealing with units of a different style. And it could have been the difference between inches and centimeters, for example. But that can put people in harm's way. And so you must be careful with this. Safety uh, really is paramount importance, but also convenience. People with lots of experience performing calculations, but in any kind of science really, are probably going to agree that calculations and measurements done in the metric system using metric units are easier to perform in, in just about every case. And so if you have a measurement, for example, in feet, you probably want to convert that to meters. We'll look at an example. Uh, but also, it helps you look at more advanced topics. Uh, it helps you look at things in a more uh, sophisticated way. And who doesn't want to be more sophisticated and to grow in your knowledge? So there's another very good reason why. So universal technique. Uh, there's various techniques and methods that, that are sometimes used to teach this. You may have seen things like the stair step kind of arrangement of boxes that help you remember oh should I be moving the decimal to the left or to the right should I be multiplying by uh, uh, 10, 100, 1000, should I be dividing by 10, 100, 1000 um, those are okay but sometimes those only uh, are really applicable for the metric system because it's it's base 10 this technique I'm going to look at and I love teaching it this way is, is universal this works with any particular kind of, of unit conversion from one type to another and it doesn't have to be metric it can be um, I guess it's called the old imperial system uh, where we have inches and feet and pounds and miles and stuff so here we go we're going to use what uh, are known as ratios that are equal to one and that's going to be really helpful to us so what is a ratio well basically a ratio is a comparison of two numbers you'll see that You've heard of things called conversion factors, and there are going to be conversion factors you were just going to come to know and have memorized, not because you sat down to try to memorize them, but because they become so familiar to you because you use them so often. Uh, these conversion factors give you a ratio equal to one. For example, one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. That's a comparison of two numbers, and it's a ratio. And when we put these together in a ratio, it will equal one because what's on the left side equals what's on the right side. The two sides are equal. Hence the equal sign. One hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. That will be used regularly. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Those are just a few examples. So also in this technique of doing unit conversions, here's a way to check what's going on when you're performing the conversion. If the unit is getting bigger, for example, uh, well, I don't have an example where the unit's getting bigger. If we're going to go from the left to the right, that unit gets smaller, that unit gets smaller, and that unit gets smaller. So if the unit gets bigger, then the number must get smaller, so it's opposite. Here, if the unit gets smaller, the number must get bigger. For example, the, our unit goes from meters to centimeters. The unit gets smaller, we'll look at the number. The number got bigger. And that's true of these other examples as well. And we'll see this. Let's look at this example right here. So you measured a distance of three feet, but you want that in meters. And that could be for any number of reasons. Maybe your teacher's being a pain in the butt, but maybe you realize, hey, the rest of my team is working in the metric system, and I did this in feet, I have to have this in meters. So we're going to use a conversion factor because that gives us a ratio equal to 1. The conversion factor we will use, we could look this up, 1 meter is equal to 3.6281 feet. Notice right away, there's a difference in the number of sig figs in these two numbers. Okay, that might come up later. So possible ratios. When we write this uh, conversion factor as a ratio, it basically looks like a fraction. And we can put one meter on top and the 3.281 feet on the bottom, or we can put the measurement of feet on top, 3.281 feet on top, and the one meter on the bottom. Uh, it, 
it's the same either way, believe it or not, because it's equal to one. The top and the bottom are equal to each other. And anytime you have a fraction where the top and the bottom equal each other, the fraction's equal to one. This fraction's also equal to one. So we get to pick, and this what makes this, um, this technique very, very flexible. You get to pick which one of these that you use. So the solution, how do we get this going? We start with three feet. And I'm gonna multiply that original number by that ratio. Now I have to pick the correct version of that ratio. And when I multiply that uh, original measurement by this ratio, I'm just multiplying by a number equal to one. The ratio is equal to one. I'm not changing my original measurement. And that's really cool. I'm just converting the unit. Now, in this case, I know that I wanna use this version, and, and here's the reason why. The, the fastest way to identify this is when I multiply, I need the certain units to cancel out that I started with. I need feet to go away. I don't want those in my answer. And I need meters left over because I want to end up with this measurement in meters. And so when I do this at three times this fraction, well, it's three times one on the top, and then I'm going to divide by 3.281 on the bottom. All right. Uh, on the top, it becomes feet times meters for the units. On the bottom, the units are just feet. Well, feet divided by feet, they cancel out exactly what I want. And there's nothing canceling the meters, exactly what I want. So I do the math now, three times one and divided by 3.281. I get this answer on my calculator. But I know, listen, there's sig figs I have to keep in mind. Uh, and so I was doing division. And so I have to round this number to the same number of sig figs as the least precise number I was dealing with. The least precise number was one significant figure. I have to round this answer to one sig fig. And there it is, 0 0.9 meters. So three feet is equal to 0 0.9 meters after rounding. Okay, so that's how this works. And this can be applied to any kind of conversion you need to do. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.